What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Beers for Build. We got two days left to wrap up the 240Z before SEMA. So we better get to it. What do we have planned for today? We're gonna build a front grill, we're gonna build side skirts, we're gonna wire the car, and we're gonna continue wrapping it. Other than that, I have no idea, but hopefully just a lot of really good productive stuff. I'd like to see the whole interior kind of put together and working. Hell, maybe we'll even fire up the engine today. We should be firing up the engine today. Engine start episode coming right at you. Stay tuned. With builds like this, in my experience, towards the last few days, you often see people slow down a lot. And I think that's because they kind of have anxiety over running into a hurdle right at the end. So imagine you work for five months and everything's on the line. And you know that if you keep working, you'll get it done. But you also know that if you keep working, you might run into the one thing that just ruins all your hopes and dreams and you feel like all that last five months was all for nothing. So. That's just, I'm just sharing that little tidbit of a feeling with you guys. It's a real thing. It happens when you're finishing a project, but my way of getting through it is you build a list and then you just like crank up the music, ignore that feeling in the back of your head and just start burning through the list. And then if you hit a wall, you'll figure out a way to get through. So that's our game plan today. I'm gonna go ahead and keep working on the wiring and Eric's gonna get started on the front. Well, not get started. He's gonna continue working on the front grill. We've got the wires ran and it's really coming out like it's gonna look it's gonna look really good. So the next steps for me are, uh, you guys remember with all the wires, there's all these grounding points that we have to mount. There's some like accelerometers that we gotta mount and different things like that. So I'm gonna be organizing, I'm gonna start in the back and then work my way forward. There's gonna be the majority of the wires, cause you gotta remember this was for a four door car. So there's a whole section of wires that basically go from there all the way to there that are now kind of like right in the middle here where we gotta bundle up and kind of, and also they run into the trunk. We gotta kind of bundle those up and tie them down and do different stuff. So we'll clean all those up as best we can while mounting them down and mounting the grounding points and grounding them out onto the car. And I'm gonna start in the back and then I'll start working my way up this way until Oscar gets here and then we can start working on the dash. Eric's got the base for our grill built out. He's working on bending the, uh, the back braces so that they have the right angle so the grill kind of the slats in the grill move forward with the bumper. And Travis is wrapping our Headlight bucket, you can see it's coming along great. Oh, the color looks so good. So once these buckets are off, we're gonna go ahead and paint the uh, this part of the fender right there black and the inside of the bucket black once again because they got a little primer on them. Quick update, I'm getting close to placing all the wires in the right rear quarter panel of the car. So they're gonna kind of run around here. There's gonna be a big bundle back there and run through there, uh, dodging the fuel cell and everything else like that. So right now I'm just grounding out um, stuff and kind of keeping the ground for the loom and then we're gonna connect and run backwards. Eric built the uh, front grill. It's uh, upside down right now, but is that upside down? Yeah. Yeah, it's upside down right now, but that's it. Uh, so we, we went ahead and did four supports like the traditional one, um, none in the middle, and it looks really good. So uh, now we just have to have the rest of the car basically assembled to build the mounting points for that. So that's gonna be a later tonight, hopefully later tonight um, type of thing. Travis is continuing to wrap the buckets. Uh, I'm gonna continue working on wiring and Eric is gonna go ahead and start to drill out the uh, holes for our Downstar hardware for our wide body kit. So uh, once he gets a couple of those in there, we can uh, test with the body kit on the back and figure out how we wanna build our side skirts. And I'll show you our hardware once we get that in there too.
Eric just did kind of the final fitment on our uh, rear over fender. So these are universal fenders, but what I found out when I originally ordered these for the Aston Martin was that you could heat them up with a heat gun and kind of bend them around and stuff like that to match the body line. So before we had a little bit of bubbling where it was kind of coming off the body because these pockets weren't angled correctly, Eric uh, heated up the pockets from the back, kind of pushed on them with his thumb and stuff like that, molded them around. So now we have a perfect fit following the body line all the way around, which is exactly what we wanted. So that's really cool. Uh, what's next for these? Oh, we're, we're leaving these on so we can template out the side skirts, which we're going to build next. And drill them out for the bigger hardware. Oh yeah, and we're going to drill these out for our uh, Downstar hardware. Eric's got the side skirts. We went ahead and designed something together. He cut them out of that aluminum right there. Now he's welding on some mounts under the off of the frame rail. We're mounting it off the frame rail. We're gonna have a secondary mount off of the pinch weld that we'll show you in a little bit. Oscar and I are teaming up on the wiring. I'm working on this wiring back here and Oscar's working on the wiring up there uh, under the passenger seat area. Things were going really good. We're getting our side skirts mounted and then Eric caught the car on fire and burned the wrap. It's not used to catching the car on fire that's wrapped. So uh, I guess we're gonna have to redo that panel. But luckily that's a small panel. It only goes from right there to right there. We can use scrap to do it. It won't really be a big problem. But anyways, Eric's in the process of welding in the uh, fourth mount for the side skirt. So there's three in the back and one in the center there. And we're gonna test out the rigidity of that and see if it'll keep the side skirt nice and rigid. If not, we're gonna add a few more, a few more in. Uh, Oscar's doing a great job of uh, buttoning up the wiring for the passenger side, getting all of this stuff um, into the passenger side, kind of under the dash area. I'm still working on the back and Travis has moved on to uh, wrapping the hatch inside the paint booth. As you saw in the time lapse, Eric's got one of the side skirts down. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull the fenders and run all the front wiring and continue to run the uh, driver side wiring. We're just gonna basically try and tidy up wiring throughout the rest of the build right now. Well, we ran into an issue. The uh, We noticed as we were working and punching the brakes a couple times that one of our brake lines was leaking. We had a leak out of here. So uh, we're looking to go get a replacement for that brake line. We're gonna, it runs from the master uh, down into the distribution block. So we're gonna try and replace that brake line tonight. If not, we'll get that one tomorrow. We're gonna keep working on wiring in the engine bay. We're basically done wiring in 
uh, the cabin, we're getting really close. So the seat uh, sits and it rides tall enough that it can actually go over these bundles. So you can see that we've actually grounded out some of our cables right to the chassis there like that and like that. And then they're zip tied to the side so our carpet will go over those. Uh, yeah, and the seat just fits right in like that. In the back, you know, it looks a little messy right now. We definitely have like a bundle of wires there and we have a bundle of wires here. Uh, until we can thin the loom out, that's just how it's gonna have to be. Um, our tail light wire was somewhere right here. Oh, here's our tail light wires right here. And there's another one right there. And uh, we just got our tail lights in from the Street Banditos today. I'll show you those in a little bit. Uh, so that's basically the trunk. We're gonna work on continuing to clean things up, but we're gonna build that dividing piece here pretty soon. That'll go across there and the fuel cell will land in there. And Eric is continuing to work on um, getting that side skirt landed. We fixed the brake line. It was looking like we weren't gonna be able to, but we actually, we got it fixed. So we have brakes on the build once again. We fixed the brake line and then bled all the brakes once around it once again. So we're good on brakes. Eric has the other side of the side skirt mocked up. Uh, well, not mocked up, fully mounted up. So this is what it looks like. Remember you have a fender here and the wide body kit and stuff like that. But the idea is it takes the body line from the Rocket Bunny where it kind of flows in right there. This will also flow in and then we're gonna have it kind of, it comes back out for the front bumper and then goes up for the diffuser. You know what? Just wait Wait till we have it all together and then you make up your mind what you think about it. All right, Oscar has decided we're gonna wire up the front now and uh, throw in our, our newly tuned ECU and I'll talk about that in a second and then uh, we're gonna hit the start button and see what happens. We are getting close. Uh, Chelsea and I decided to start laying some of the carpet and we are also hot wiring the door shut signal so that the car thinks that the doors are always shut since uh, you know we don't have that mechanism anymore. We actually need to get our door strikers in there too. Uh, Eric's working on um, finalizing the wiring. We're trying to make it look good, but we also got our velocity stacks on. I'm sure you guys already saw that. Oscar's on the other side doing wiring too. So we're not too far from the startup. Oh, also we replaced, oh yeah, I gotta show you guys the front. We replaced our, um, whatever this guy's called, this piece of plastic. Got a new power steering cooler in here. Uh, we gave a fresh coat of paint to the uh, oil cooler and then we took a piece of cardboard off of the radiator. So that's all, it's all ready for the first startup. Most of the engine bay wiring is ran and we got the carpet pretty much buttoned up on the driver's side. Uh, we're gonna double check some molding and some trim and see how that looks before we uh, finish buttoning up the carpet on that kick panel. So we just unboxed our ECU and uh, well, it's a, what is it? DME, it's a DME on, on BMWs. And so this got tuned by Zach over at 22 RPD. We got an Alpha N tune on here that's gonna allow us to run the velocity stacks. And we got a good base map that's gonna get us running well at SEMA. And later on, we're gonna do some episodes actually doing dyno tuning on this car and other things like that with Zach over at 22 RPD. He's a BMW, I think he works on all sorts of different cars, but I know for sure he works on BMWs, engineer, tuner, all sorts of great stuff. So I'm gonna put a link in the description, guys. If you got a BMW and you wanna get a tune, follow that link, contact Zach, and he will hook you up. Well, like he hooked me up. So we're gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and then a few more wires and uh, we should be ready to kick it on for the first time. We are closer than ever. We got all our fluids in, so we got a bunch of oil, a bunch of coolant, a bunch of power steering fluid. That's all of them. Now we had brake fluid before. Uh, carpets are in, kind of. We're, uh, we're gonna build some trim to attach it down here that looks a little bit nicer. Dashboard is in for the last time. I did paint touch up on it, because you guys remember it had all that weird paint flaking off of it. So I put more not weird paint on top of it and it looks fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and install our, all of our computers, our trim. Uh, we have a cool modified red start button that we're gonna throw in here that'll go right there. Get the whole dash installed and wired in and then we'll bring in our center console.
It is go time. The dash is installed, as installed as we need it to be. It's looking so awesome in here, man, with the, ah, oh, so good. It's so good. Uh, our door hack works, so you can see that the dash lights, we have power to the car and the dash lights are finally off for once, so that's really good. Uh, so it's time to go ahead and throw the key in the ignition and try and crank her up. All right, gears are working. Fuel. Small fuel problem. Small fuel problem. Oh, all right, we will, we will fix this fuel problem and then we'll start it up. Steering wheels and get. All right, we're going. Hang on. Plus side, we did not go into limp mode. Sweet. So there's that. It's 3 a.m. The car still runs. We've got a fresh tune on it, and it's a little, uh, little rumbly. But once we get the exhaust on there tomorrow, we'll make sure it sounds a little bit better when we can hear a little bit better in here. And we gotta, we gotta stop the fuel leakage. That's just too dangerous and, and not, not worth it. So we hit our goal for today. The engine runs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Head over to beastforbuild.com to pick up some merch. Uh, I'll see you guys at SEMA Ignited. That's in like a week from now. And um, thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to subscribe. Peace!